Okay, so we are now ready to move on with our hardware. To the right we have our handset. Here in the middle we have a switch with power over Ethernet connection that we will be using for our IP deck server that we have here to the left. And we have our laptop here to configure the server. Now first off, we need to prepare the handset for first use. And as you can see here, we have a, a plastic strip where you can see there's a label on that reminds you to remove a plastic strip that is on the battery. So let's take off the plastic strip and then slide off this back cover here. First, take out the battery like this. Now, on the battery, you will see that there is this plastic strip, which prevents the handset from accidentally turning on. You need to remove this, like this, and then reinsert the battery into the battery compartment. Slide it into the compartment like this. Put on the back cover like this, and now you can turn on the handset. Now, as you can hear, this sound indicates that the battery is nearly empty, so it needs to charge before we can actually use it. So now that we've set up the handset, we need to configure the IP deck server to work with uh, zero touch provisioning. So we will start out by logging on to uh, the redirectional services. Log into the online SpectraLink redirection and provisioning service using the credentials provided when you signed up as a SpectraLink partner or service provider. The steps are Partner logs into the redirection service. Partner enters the IP deck server 200 MAC address and the product ID info onto the redirection service portal together with the URL of the service provider provisioning server from where the IP deck server 200 will be able to download its configuration and user settings as well as optionally any firmware that needs to be rolled out. Note, data can be entered manually one by one, bulk uploaded via a CSV file and specially for system automation and zero-touch support, service providers can use REST API interface directly from their own backend systems. Preparing provisioning server. Admin that manages the service provider provisioning server auto-generates and uploads the user XML and the config XML files for each IP deck server whose information is uploaded in the redirection server. Note, if a particular firmware is also required, that can also be uploaded and stored in the provisioning server. Post sales redirection to ITSP slash CSP provisioning server URL. When the DEC server is turned on, it would get its IP address, for example, from a local DHCP server. The DEC server is hard-coded to connect to the online redirection service as long as no one manually configures it via the web user interface. A security session is established to ensure end-to-end -end security of data exchange. The DEC server identifies itself to the redirection service. The redirection service verifies the DEC server identity and tells the DEC server the assigned ITSP slash service provider provisioning server URL. The DEC server goes to the assigned provisioning server URL and requests user and system configuration files. If set up and made available, the DEC server will also download any necessary firmware for the IP DEC server as well as for the to be connected DECT handsets. So we are now done configuring the zero touch provisioning services and I can now shut down my laptop and I can connect my IP DEC server 200. And what you'll see now is that the IP DEC server 200 will turn on and it will find its configuration files according to the settings that I made here on my laptop. Now that your IP DEC server 200 is working, it is time to register the DECT handset. Setting up DECT handset. You will need to register your handset, which can be done with auto-subscription. Turn on the handset. The menu displays auto-subscription. If provided, enter the access code and or user ID and press OK. Or if the access code and user ID is not provided, simply ignore the fields and press OK. A green check mark will appear on the handset, confirming that the handset is properly registered. So that's it. We have now uh, configured the IP deck server 200. We have subscribed to the handset and it's now ready to take into operation. My name is Ebbet Jorgensen. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in another video.